I'm a wife and a mom, and my goal is to live more simply, naturally, and self-sufficiently. A year ago, we sold our home, renovated, and moved into our trailer, and five months later, we found our dream land to call home. We're taking our 18 acres of raw land and building our dream home and homestead from start to finish. I can't believe how close I am to finish clearing this acre of land and how close it is to being the end of maple syrup season. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey. It's the start of a new week. I just dropped my daughter off at school. We enrolled her a few weeks ago, which is super helpful. Five days a week of free care and she's learning so much. Anyways, I'm here at the property. I'm getting to the point where I'm slowing down with cutting the trees down. I only have five more trees to cut in the main acre that we're clearing and then a few scattered around the outside that we just need to clear so that if they fell, they didn't land on the house because that would be clearly a disaster. <laughs> I'm still making maple syrup, so it should be a good few days for collecting sap. All right, let's get started. So I've noticed two things. First of all, I tapped into a lot of red maple trees versus sugar maples. Sugar maples have a lot more sugar content in them, whereas it takes double the amount of time to boil down the sap from a red maple. It's honestly just really hard to tell what you're tapping into when the snow is still on the ground and you can't see the leaves on the ground that look like red maples. But now I know for next year what to look for. And I know to just, you know, mark my trees before the leaves fall in the fall so that I can tap the right ones in the spring and that way boiling doesn't take as long. So far I have five red maples and six sugar maples. So sugar maples are beating the reds, which is good. And this one, oh my gosh, it's a really nice sized tree. It's providing a lot of sap and it's dripping like crazy. I think we're gonna have a ton of sap tomorrow. red maples and seven sugar maples so I definitely messed that one up <laughs> well I'm super bummed I knew that sap only lasts a week without being frozen I was hoping to push it one extra day and it's cloudy so all the stuff in my cooler is garbage now which sucks this is cloudy this is clear before I start using my chainsaw and cleaning some of the stuff up, I'm gonna show you a tree I cut down last week. It was the biggest tree in this acre. It was so much fun to cut and it fell exactly where I wanted it to. <laughs> Super cool. That was such a big tree. It went exactly where I wanted it to go. The hinge looks good. And what's great is that it's not rotten. So we might actually be able to mill this poplar and the one we took down yesterday and maybe even the next one. The next one looks healthy too. Yay! So I have one poplar left to cut and four maples. I'm probably not gonna cut the maples until the sapping season is done, but I might cut this poplar today. We'll see how it goes. It is super windy. It's taken me a solid 20 minutes to untangle this chain. So, some good times. Oh, I did it! Literally 10 minutes of that was just like getting a kink out of my chainsaw chain. 
but it is looking good. Now I'm gonna start cleaning up all of this mess, but I think I'm honestly just gonna cut one more tree down. This poplar is calling my name, so I'm gonna cut this one down. And then we'll get cleaning up because this is a mess. So it's predominantly straight, but it's leaning a little bit this way. So I'm gonna try dropping it into that brush pile there. chains are cutting this tree at all. So I'm gonna go get a chain. Ha! I'm back at the property. I finally have the new chain on my chainsaw and I'm ready to go. Also, I just sat on a stick and I put a hole in my pants and now I have no pants. I have, I have no pants. I have one pair of pants. I just put a hole in my pants. So please ignore that if you see it while I'm cutting. That is literally a million times better. A million times better. Okay, let's finish this off. <laughs> So I didn't get the tree exactly where I wanted it to. Today's not been my day. <laughs> Look at how big this burl is. All right, it's time to start cleaning all of this stuff up, chopping the logs into sections for firewood and cleaning up the brush. That is it for today. I cut down a poplar. I only have the four maples left to cut down in that acre. And tomorrow I'm gonna be boiling down the sap into maple syrup. So see you tomorrow. A beautiful day today oh my goodness and the sap was flowing yesterday so today I'm gonna boil down some sap I'm super excited anyways let's get started <laughs> I have this thing somewhat going. I'm gonna go look for some dry logs. I think the only thing I have is dry maples. They're not even that dry, so hopefully they'll catch. I finally have 
have these logs going. Hopefully they'll stay going because they are a little bit wet. It is boiling. a really hard time getting going because the logs are all wet but I'm just gonna keep feeding it super dry kindling and then hopefully I can eventually get it going really really good and get the sap boiling down really quickly because this is taking a long time I've been at this for an hour and a half now I think I have a control on this fire I hope this bucket is empty there's not much left in the pan so time to go collect some sap this is pretty gross there are tons of flies in my sap so that sucks a lot i don't know what i'm gonna do with that normally there's just like one or two but that's a lot of dead flies before i decide what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna go check my other trees this one's just a red maple so if anything i'm only wasting sap from a red maple i'm gonna go check my sugar trees to see if my sugar maples have fared any better with this fly infestation <laughs> this one just had five so i picked them out it wasn't like a gross sap so anyways i'm saving my sugar maple sap for sure and i'm also gonna go around and tape the back of these holes because that's where they're getting in from i knew it could happen i was just feeling lazy to be honest this guy caught fire just from being on the outside of this i was just trying to dry it out and the sap is still bubbling. Honestly, I find this such like a juggling act because you have to go get the sap, you have to get kindling and logs, and you have to make sure that your maple syrup isn't burning. So it's quite a bit. Honestly, this one's just so gross. I think I'm gonna dump it. So I'm just out collecting logs for our maple syrup fire, but I'm down here at the wetlands and I have gotten so many comments about it's beautiful, but wait until the mosquitoes come. So I just wanted to address this. The healthy wetlands, ones that are flowing, are full of biodiversity. And it's a huge misconception that wetlands are breeding ground for mosquitoes. They're actually a breeding ground for mosquito predators. So any mosquitoes that end up hatching around the forest and in the wetlands, there are so many more predators in here like frogs and crayfish, dragonflies, there's literally so much. Wetlands are one of the most biodiverse pieces of land and along the edge is where you're gonna find a lot of that biodiversity in the soil, which is why we want it for homesteading and permaculture in our food forest. So all of this area that we cleared, we're going to be filling it back up with beautiful fruit trees and fruit bushes. And we're leaving the stumps and we're letting them decompose back to nature, which is super important because the roots are still holding the soil there. And we want those new trees to form roots super deep to keep the soil where it is so that there's less soil erosion into our wetlands. Well, that's it for today. The maple syrup is pretty much done. Just have to bring it home and finish it off. Honestly, this is pretty close to being maple syrup. That is so good. I don't think I'm gonna have to boil it off when I get home very much. I'll reboil it to can it, but that's pretty much maple syrup. Mm, cheers. So that is it for this week. Thank you for watching me clear trees and make maple syrup. It's been a blast and we'll see you next week. Bye.